labia minora pulling for women in Uganda, Rwanda and Zambia is a common culture to them. But for Burundian women, squatting in bed is a key thing and it must be practiced by every woman in Burundi. When they are in that act, there will be water. Mm. And now that makes a Burundian man to see that he has made his family good. At what age are the girls allowed to know all these things and who teaches them? The auntie is the one who teaches the lady mm. to go and do whatever the, uh, uh, she's supposed to do as the wife to the man. So in Burundi, they are taught in school, like it's a part of the lesson life skill. There are some things they are taught in school. Squatting, also known as kunyanza in their Burundian language, gives 90% of women respect in the society. In Burundian culture, women pleasures comes first and men are expected to help their women find water. Men are taught, not it's like advice from their dad. The dad will tell the, the sons, don't argue, there are some arguments that come, but it is how we solve them. From my research, 92% of Burundian women climax with Kunyanza method erotology. Okay. There are some things practical. Okay. Once your your husband like makes you become satisfied. Okay. That water you must see. Kunyanza method is also considered as a secretive thing here in Burundi, and as a mother, you are not allowed to teach your daughters. Only the aunts are allowed to provide the teachings. So here in Burundi, if you don't squat, are you considered less of a woman, or as do? Is there any way how your husband sees you like? It depends. It depends with the woman's body. Mm -hmm. There are some even who move water like Tanganyika, flood. So does this mean that there are some women who does not experience the Kunyanza method? Mm -hmm. There are some who just squat a little. And there are some even if you do what is just dry. Okay. But, but majority, they, they, they the, squat. The majority of the Indian women, they squat. Yes. The Kunyanza method not only begins in bed, but also during the preparation of the meal and house chores makes it even more beautiful for a man. If the lady follows everything the auntie tells her, mm -hmm. like welcoming the husband, uh, serving him, taking hot water if there is no shower, mm -hmm. for him to bath, going out uh, and the husband enters the room, finds the room is already prepared. Mm -hmm. Even him, it gets him in the mood mm -hmm. for that act of love. Mm -hmm. Now, that is when now, uh, because the lady is prepared mm -hmm. and the man is prepared, mm -hmm. they are going now to do it mm -hmm. with satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And for the man to see as if he has satisfied mm -hmm. the lady and the lady to see as satisfied the mm -hmm. man, they are, when they are in that act, mm -hmm. there will be water. Mm. And now that makes a Burundian man to see that he has made his family good. Wow. Like he's raising the family very wow. nicely. Wow. Yes. So the releasing of water makes the satisfaction to the man. Okay. And wow. the lady. And the lady. Yes. And the lady too, because the lady has learnt it from the auntie uh -huh. and now she has applied it in the bedroom. Yes. Mm. And now now the man has hit the, the, the point of satisfactory. Yes. So both of them they are satisfied. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What you have been taught all these things as a Burundian girl. And I go, I misbehave in marriage, and I get out of my marriage, I, I divorce, or for example, I get chased by my husband. Am I allowed to go back to my mother's house? It is uh, very rare to find such cases. Oh. But if they happen, no any parent will feel happy when their children have divorced. Mm. If, if, if me as a woman, with all these things that have been taught by my aunt, now as a Burundian lady, and I have applied them and maybe I don't satisfy my husband in the in the bed is my husband allowed to remarry again if he finds a case like where he has slept with another girl and he has seen a girl giving out whatever I don't give as a wife in the bed mm. Burundi they only recognize one wife one wife so in case as a man you go out and take the second wife Burundian government only recognized the first wife, the one on papers. But there is also some uh, some religion like Muslim who, who are found even here. Them, they are 
the religion part. Muslims, they marry even for wives. Marriage is highly valued here in Burud because they don't value second wives and also they don't allow a man to have a side chick. When you're married as a first wife, you are prioritized in everything. And the way to show that you're married here in Burundi, you must be having a marriage certificate. If you are there and you are a mpango wakando, side chick, side chick. sorry, in Burundi, you have no space. You <laughs> Because they recognize the first wife and the children. Where mm. will you hide to, to recognize the other children as a man? You will not hide. Because if you bring the children here, your wife will know and she will she will reject. Ah. Your wife has said Burundi in short. So if she rejects, those children are not recognized as your children. Welcome to Kenya where side chicks survive by DNA. <laughs> DNA is what proves that you're going to eat 50-50. That plot is mine, this is mine. But, hi Burundi, if you're marrying me, please. I, I am not getting married without papers. First thing first, come see my parents. Papers. When I give back, papers. Me writing with capital letter. Even I'll write with a big pen. Diana, married to this. <laughs> oh my god. Let me tell you, in all cultures I've seen in the whole world, I think Burundi is the one that they follow. They follow what they 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 practice. Mm. And I've seen it with my eyes. Yes. Wow. Wow. I, I really like this. And I'm even Father Lord when you you have remembered me in Burundi. Thank you. So, <laughs> so guys, like honestly speaking, not from a point of now because I'm a i I'm a I'm a YouTuber or a comedian. It's from a point of um, from what I've, from the countries that I've been around, I have seen. I think Burundi when that's why men don't just get married. When they get married, they get married forever and ever. It's for better for us. You know, in Kenya we say for better for us and tomorrow someone is going. But here is for better for us, and that's why men look and who they are making pregnant. Look on what they are making for you as a woman, as a wife. Yeah. They choose, and when they make that decision, just know it's just final. Yeah. So if you're chosen by a Burundian man, just know it's final. You see that culture? It favors us. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. All women should come in Burundi, man. When, when a lady goes to get married, mm -hmm. most of the time she's being taught these things by the auntie. No, no. Now, in Burundi, there are some things like a lady, you are not supposed to talk with your mom. Okay. It's only your auntie, okay. and there are some things your mom even cannot tell you. Oh, so it's like a secret between you and your aunt, okay. and that is their culture, and that's all it is. Okay, yes. So the it's the aunties who tells you, not your mom. Yes, who, who teaches you how to go like be a woman to your mom. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. I never knew that. You never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. Okay. Uh -huh. huh? Ah, yeah. Now I'm what learning. are these things also? Now she's saying. What some of the things they are being taught mm -hmm. is if you are a lady and you go start a home with your husband, yeah, uh, you should know that the husband is the head of the family. Mm -hmm. So when the husband is speaking like the high, mm -hmm. high voice, mm -hmm. as a woman, you need to see and calm down. Okay, you are not supposed to speak, to speak supposed on the high, yeah. high voice. Oh, wow, yeah, so yeah, okay, ah, okay. Uh, when the husband comes okay. from work mm -hmm. as a lady, you are not supposed to let your house help to welcome oh, your man. Okay. You are supposed to go pick the things he has, okay. welcome him, okay. even the food, uh -huh. especially at night, uh -huh. you should wait for him to return. So I'm not supposed to eat before my husband yes. comes to the house? Yes. You but if eat. I eat, it's a taboo. I eat it before I eat it, I eat it. Oh yeah, mm. I'm just a mm. No, mm. A man cannot be served by the household if the woman is at home. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it is sweet when the when the wife waits for the husband, they eat like it's like a unity. Mm -hmm. They eat together and that's love. Mm -hmm. It's not good that you eat before your man comes. Okay, now yes. I have another question. Mm -hmm. 
umugo na wenye na avuye kukazi ashikara jamii umugabo uiwe nharaz umugabo wa mazepo zango ndi iruhi kado go genda uguru ure uchugabu la sovuj kirazi it is a very bad picture like a woman you come you you enter the home your husband is not there you you go straight to sleep then when your husband comes you are like kado go now they like the mpanikazi go serve my husband that's not good it's a very bad picture um because of rain Burundi has been raining for the for the most of the time during this time, so we had to move from the our background. Okay, how's that? We had to move out from our background to come and sit here because, my God, this wisdom is too much. So, guys, we still continue with our questions, and you had left. Where, where are we? Where are the girl? Or oh, the girl is not. If the husband is coming back at home, the household is not supposed to open the door. It's you as a woman that is supposed to open the door. Now I have another question before even we continue. My question was like in um in in Burundi, not in Burundi, in Uganda, we have this labia pooling, where labia pooling makes your husband enjoy, and it's must in central part of Uganda. It's a must. I want to be practiced, and if you're not practiced that the labia pooling, you're not, you don't make your husband to be satisfied. My question is, what is this that makes? What is this in Burundi that makes women satisfy their men, or how is it done? How do you prepare a woman? Uh -huh. Yes. Sasa, kama wa wa Uganda wanafanya ni leku kuzuka ni leku ni yawa. Uku ni nini wanafanya ni kama warundi wanafuzo wende ni yawa wa satisfy wale wanaume. Yeah, ukuna. Okay. Anu wose barafisi ni genzo ya wao ingene ba ba mtrete ni mubiri wa wao. A muburundi ibyo bintu Jogo ukuna tu vijumba kumatui na vijotozi tu vijumba pero a awa na bubu bari kwa bara 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 ruka ubu ba mwe ba mwe bara bizi kuko bara tembe ya kusa ah so sorry guys I have to translate so that I don't forget so she is saying ah in culture we have different cultures even though we are African and mm -hmm. everywhere you go it's very different yes so for here they just hear that like there's yes, labia so pulling okay. but they've never seen it's okay. like a, something they hear but okay. they've never seen it okay so it's like a rumors okay okay and uh yeah we continue mm -hmm. and she's saying that uh, these younger generations and the ones who are practicing it just maybe because of internet they see it on internet they hear because they travel too much so they are the ones who are starting to practice it these younger oh, generations okay. Yeah. okay 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 so there's one thing i heard about uh, burundians and i have to speak it because before i go to every country i must have to research about their culture and this thing is about uh, the like in kenya oh, i've never seen someone who is you're in bed and you're squatting some water after uh, engaging with your husband or after doing some love with your husband. But here in Burundi, I, I understand every woman has to... to how, what's the perfect language? To squat. To squat. Yeah, let's use that. So? Let's do it. That, let's use that or to rain. I don't know. No, squat, guys. Let's call it squat. The, the it's squatting. That's yeah. the squat. Now here in Burundi, when I was doing my research, I see that it's most of women they must squat in bed when they are making love, and that is a sign of uh, satisfaction. satisfaction. So, do they train women to do that? Are they prepared, or what happens? Sasa, uyu atantini, anafunisha mchana mbaka hiyo mambo ya yaktoa machi kwa kitani. Yani, if you don't believe that we can finish, kuko if you believe mu 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 Mukoko iyo ya ya tegu weneza mukanda, agatego weneza, hanyuma akabi weneza, mirazuma ayomazi aboneke. Now, there are some things you don't need to be taught. Okay. There are some things practical. Okay. Once your your husband like makes you become satisfied, okay. That water you must see. Yeah. But for example, a nimbumo mukabo as shora kuzi. Akaza we we ushoki mumu mtwe abishaka ashaka kumu kodi zovili anima na we urarushi 
wiriwe mu bikogwa wiriwe mu kazi abana bagukoroze umukozi yagukoroze akaza ntaguteguye neza gashika vuga ati byama ngaho oya bishaka gukora sex iyo ataguteguye mu mutwe nawe ngo ujyohebwe ubishake ayo mazi nazo okay ariko umugore wari wese yateguwe neza yaganiriye neza no mushingana baka ico kintu bakacumva kumwe bose babishaka umukobwa wese arafisamaze now she's trying to explain to an example mm -hmm. there are sometimes sex uh, that thing is from the mind mm -hmm. you cannot enjoy it if for example you have many things in your mind oh children are disturbing you you need to cook you need what you need to have time for that mm -hmm. such that you and your husband to be in that moment mm -hmm. that's how now when you get to enjoy it mm -hmm. if uh, one of you uh, is is willing to do it the other one is not mm -hmm. It's very possible you not see that water because it will be like mm -hmm. being forced. Mm -hmm. But if you are in the mood, mm -hmm. that water you will see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let me ask another question. If you don't, our uh, because here in Burundi it's common for women to squat. If you don't squat, are you considered less of a woman? Because in Kenya I've, I've never had women sharing such experiences. So here in Burundi, if you don't squat, are you considered less of a woman or as do? Is there any way how are your husband sees you like? Because <laughs> <laughs> It depends with the woman's body. There are some even who move water like Tanganyika, flood. There are some who just squat a little. And there are some even if you do what is just dry. Okay. But majority they they, they the, squat. The majority of Burundian women they squat. Yes, but it depends with someone. Mm -hmm. It's not a must. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. you squat. Okay, so there's not any school that these kids are to drink. It's just when you you just get married and you you, you connect with your husband. No, so uh, we have a question, guys. Mm -hmm. Is it only the ladies who are taught, or even the men? Okay, the boys. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, Ni wanawake tu wanafundishwa ama pia wanaume wanafundishwa? Hizi mambo. Saa haya ikiishwa magori. Hapa ikiishwa mambo. Hapa ni mwana uh, is a lady who is being taught how to how to take care of the husband and the family. Ikiishwa mambo. But now me am asking. Uko kenshi mu rugo. Iyo mm. umugori. Mm. Abaye mubi mu rugo. Yadafasha umugabo wiwe mu rugo neze. Mm. Urugo na sambo. Ukuko umugabo arashobora kuza afise itabi ya zitanduka. Afise mekino fu itabi ya wajumbi zitanduka. Ari koyashika umugore akamu hanga nida akamu akamu shira kumurongo ujaza itabi ya mizo sisi zohe. Ari kona mugabo na baka baba ke yemera itabi ya mizo mugori. Eh, umugore niwe tegerezwa gushira umugabo kuri line ya. Urabona wewe wabaje ngo ibyo ibyigwa cyo kuja kubaka bigisha abakobwa bonyene abahungu nti babigisha. Bo abahungu ndibaza yuko iyo bagiye ku iyo bashaka kubaka baganira na bakobwa babo. Bakobwa barashobora kumubwira ati mwana wanje urabona kugiye kubaka jewe na na na, na mama wao kuba sinyaka nyinshi so uko tutigeze tugomba na munsi ariko kubera kwa kwihangana n'urukundo gutahurana nibyo byatumye twubase imyaka nyinshi rero eh, ariko umukobwa wewe arigishwa cyane inge nafata umugabo ariko umuhungu bamubwira kwihangana no gukunda umugore wiwe kandi yamaze gukunda umugore wiwe none hakana mutahura bakaganira kuko kiyago niyo ngiye kuvuka 
iyo mutaganira ibintu byinshi birapfa rero iyo umugabo yumvirije umugore wiwe akamutaho nta kibuza yuko kuguka bitaramo ah okay guys those dada stones they are so so loud hey yeah so uh, she was explaining to us men are taught not it's like advice from their dads because when a man says dad or my family have gotten a lady to marry I, I want to prepare myself to go marry her the dad the father will uh, sit with the man and uh, just give him advice example here uh, she has said it's like uh, the man the dad will tell the the son uh, my son you see us with uh, me and your mom we have been together in this marriage it's not that we don't argue there are some arguments that come but it is how we solve them. Like a man, just go love your wife. Mm. And if you love her, how she should respect you. Mm. And what is the respect? By how she was taught by the, by the auntie. And that family will grow in love and they will grow all together. Oh. Yes. Now my last question. What if I've been taught all these things as a brinded girl, and I go and misbehave in marriage, and I get out of my marriage, I, I divorce or for example I get chased by my husband. Am I allowed to go back to my mother's house? Another thing Wait to the answer okay. that Ana uliza kama sijafuata hizi vitu kwa nyumba tuseme na nifike na acha mzee kwa sababu ni mimi mwanamke sijajifuata. Juzi nimefunzwa, nimefunzwa. Mama yangu atanikubali nirudi kwa nyu penye nilitoka. Msanzwe na mvia inuma. Nigera yifuza ko umwana wiwe asambura. Ababyeyi bose bama bifuza yuko umwana wa abana babo bibaka. Niyo yamaze kubaka baramuhanura kenshi. Mama yakamubwira ati umwana wanje ni kujya nyene na zuwakwa na papa wawe twara twara tata mugabo tugasubira tukumbiriza umuryango. Rero hari gihe biba byinshi bigasaba yuko umuryango ukorana kugira babumvikanishe eh mugabo bishikana gake hanyuma nta muvyeyi numwe yigera ashaka ko umuvyeyi umwana wiwe asambura hanyu okay ariko iyo bishitse nyene ikitori kabyo wawo tabi kabyo wawo nta handi ya yoje arasubira muhira eh bakamaki so nibijoshe so it is a very rare to find such cases Oh. But if they happen, no any parent will feel happy when their children are divorced. Mm. There is no parent who will feel happy because once they, uh, they see you have started problems, they will even try to come save that marriage. Like tell you, you mm. see even my advice how they live with their husband. So, but if maybe they have tried all that and uh, they see you will not get back together. Mm. They just accept you, but it will not be a good picture. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Now, my last question. Um, uh, if, if, if me as a woman with all these things that I've been taught by my aunt now as a Burundian lady, and I have applied them, and maybe I don't satisfy my husband in the, uh, in the bed, is my husband allowed to remarry again if he finds a case like where he has slept with another girl and he has seen a girl giving out whatever I don't give as a wife in the bed. Mm. As in, kama tu seme ni mefundisho wa ibo viote. Na mimi mzee afike aone si, si msatisfai kwa mtana. Lakini viote na zifuati. Afike anatafuta inje. Aneza rusiwa kuwa uyo bidu wapili na mimi kwa kumumba wa kwanza. Mwusanzwe, mm. mburundi kurongura wa kurewa vizutu semewe na matege kwa semewe na matege kwa Naho mura ndabibona ni muhomo ba misima mugabo naho nyene byemewe ni dini ibyemewe ni gihugu umugore wa mbere niwo igihugu kizi byo mwandiswe eh rero arongoye umugore wa kabiri ni ni poligami ni byemewe na matege ibari ngeso yo mugabo so she said in burundi they only recognize one wife one wife so in case as a man you go out and take the second wife burundian government only recognize the first wife the one on papers 
but there is also some uh, some religion like Muslim who, who are found even here. Them, they are the religion part. Muslims, they might even for whites, but the the government of Burundi only recognizes the one. first one wife. So be it she's squatting or not, you have to. As long as you signed the papers, you have to stay. Yeah, she's the, she the wife they recognize. Oh, yes. wow. Hey. But again, mm -hmm. once you divorce, you are no longer termed as mm. the wife. Another one can come in. Yeah. Oh. And they recognize the second one. Mm. For example, if there is divorce. But if there is separation and still the papers are there for marriage, you are not yet divorced. They still recognize the first one. Guys, women who are listening to me, I think getting married is Burundi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good opportunity. Guys, <laughs> 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 Na, you know, naturally, naturally men don't love to be found. 